Yeah, Zulu Lima number two, Charlie Tango Mike. ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike calling over. Roger, Roger, Zulu Lima number two, Charlie Tango Mike, over. Yeah, Roger, here, yeah, not a bad signal, I take it you're somewhere up the North Island, well, let's just take it. It used to be 40 years ago, uh, quite meaningful, the the Pickapoo. We've got uh, ZL3 Alpha Charlie Lima down in Timaru, who's working on a on a, uh, a net, net power home through uh, um, Fred Johnson Tuckerton uh, double side band, any side band uh, um, transmitter and uh, I myself am in Mountain Out North Canterbury ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike ZL3 Elite uh, ZL3 Lima Echo, is that correct? Roger, ZL3 London England. Roger, Roger, Zulu Lima 3 London uh, uh, Lima Echo, I'll go, and ZL3 ACL. Yeah, ZL2 Charlie Tanger Mike. Yeah, this is also a, a homebrew rig. Just finished it up today, so uh, you're the first contact on this. And uh, firstly, season's greetings and secondly my apologies for breaking in on your conversation but uh, I just wanted to jump in and get a, a quick uh, radio check this is a uh, like I say it's a it's a homebrew rig basically sort of built uh, built up from scratch from uh, from first principles and just sort of trying to learn more about uh, HF communications or, or RF radio design um, certainly uh, no expert in this field but I certainly enjoy trying to understand the underlying uh, maths uh, to the design and uh, this little rig here is a uh, single sideband rig it's using a commercial um, crystal filter but the rest is all homebrew and uh, the, the power amplifier itself is a, a little 3904 driving a BD139 and then a push-pull amplifier made out of uh, two BD-139s in parallel, so basically uh, a push-pull amplifier with four BD-139s, and I'd say I'm pushing out just under five watts, so uh, very much a QRP rig. Uh, ZL3 Lima Echo, ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike. Can't hear him. He's down in Timaru. It's full daylight here, and it's uh, 7 p.m. But it's midsummer. Should be ground wave anyway, but I can't. I can't hear him. And this is Pete. No. Oh, certainly nice and cool, nothing too bad with those. That one there's got 100 milliamps through that, so it's, it's certainly I can touch it fine, it's no problems. That one's good. Got the old uh, S, the power meter there just sort of dancing around, you can sort of see the pick off there. Oh, wait, he comes back. So you can see there it's a, uh, a <laughs> it's just a junk box toroid. I wanted to get 10 turns, but I only had 9 turns left. So it's 9 turns on an FT37-43 single pass through it. And then a, uh, a 1N4148 rectifying it. And then through a 50k ohm resistor just in series um, to to, um, to set the, to the, uh, the, the, I guess, the, the 
that was the word, calibration on the meter and on the back is a, uh, a 10 nanofarad capacitor that seems to dance around quite nicely and I've just sort of calibrated that on the uh, the main um, the main antenna selector so this will be Ross down in Timaru, so he's way down south um, that's, gosh that's a good thousand odd k's away so I'll wait for, I didn't catch his name, that old 3 Lima Echo I'll just wait till he comes back so I may pause this video and I'll splice the two back together again but um, just while I'm waiting for him to come back I'm um, not going to make too many more changes now this is just a uh, proof of concept uh, radio call so now I'm going to um, to basically put this aside and I want to start building on the uh, the next rig which will be a, uh, a much more advanced rig with um, Be nice. So we're, we're a bit lucky in that respect. Charlie Tango Mike, and the handle please, over. Yeah, ZL3 Lima Echo, ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike. Yeah, the name here is Charlie. The name here is Charlie, and the QTH is Wellington. Um, I'm very, very envious of your QTH. Uh, it must be very, very nice to live out in the sticks where there's very little um, background noise. I'm essentially, well, not smack in the middle of town, but I'm right on the very edges of town and in, 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 in very much a residential area. So houses all around us, and uh, I'm very lucky that I've managed to sort of squeeze in a, a half wave dipole on 80 meters. Uh, it's, it's definitely not perpendicular. It's sort of it has a couple of kinks in it, but it's enough to get out. Hey, look, um, again, apologies for butting in, and um, I will certainly bear this in mind for future radio checks. I'll let you get back to Ross, and uh, hopefully he can sort out his valve radio. Um, I was thinking about making a valve radio um, some years ago. Um, it, it's certainly very appealing, but I must admit, um, I've sort of gone more solid state these days. Uh, but yeah, I think the idea of a homebrew Val radio would be very appealing. Anyway, I'm going to um, wish you a very uh, happy new year. Uh, thank you very, very much for coming back. And um, I can virtually guarantee that uh, I will uh, ask you once again in the near future for a radio check. Um, I'll be building another radio very shortly, so just about to start thinking about that one. But um, in fact, I didn't catch your name, uh, ZL3LE. What's your name, please?
Okay, I'll call it quits there. Um, I'm not quite sure he's going to come back. So um, that's it for now. Um, so that was a good little rig, that one. So tried to make that as simple as possible with um, with sort of easily available components with the, the 3904s and the BD139s over here. Um, so nothing really exotic, uh, apart from the junk box crystal filter there. And I acknowledge that not everybody has access to those. I can actually just start to hear Ross coming in. He's down in Timaru. So, um, yeah, so that was a good rig, that one. So I'm going to put up another video very shortly, which will be calling for ideas for the next rig. Um, I want that one to be a lot more complex than this one. Uh, and we'll be looking at using some J310s as, as dual gate MOSFETs. Um, I've done that before, and I, I really like that configuration. So we'll do that sort of throughout the radio. Um, and then have some AGC as well, so we'd have to keep adjusting again there. Um, so that's be the plan for the next radio. So thanks very much, everybody. Um, any questions, just please sing out. Uh, if you find this useful, please let me know, because the whole aim of this series here is to, to try and instill what little knowledge I have, and, and, and I, I say it over and over again, and I mean it. I am certainly not an expert, but I, I do like trying to understand more about how circuits work so um, if I can impart some of that onto others and encourage them to do what I do um, then that's fantastic that's that's what it's all about um, and I'm really pleased I'm sort of suddenly get onto some some home brewers in New Zealand to uh, to talk to okay rightio I'll uh, say 73's here and um, we will catch you very shortly on the next video cheers everybody